Hi, everyone. There are many different kinds of couplings. Today, I would like to explain about the basic points on how to select the most suitable couplings for your needs. In general, the word coupling means component which connects two rotating shafts, including large shaft couplings made of cast iron. Today, I will explain about smaller, miniature, precision couplings, which are more suitable for factory automation technologies. A simple and generally used method to select the most suitable coupling is the four-step approach. That is, one, select the coupling type suitable to the intended usage. Two, select the material of the coupling in line with the environment of usage. Three, select the coupling size fitted to the torque, space and bore size required. Four, Select the fastening method between the shafts and the coupling. In this video, I will explain the first step, how to select the coupling type to the intended usage. First, their usage of miniature couplings for factory automation is divided into two groups. The first usage is motion control, which means to control the movement of systems by the combination of servo motors or stepping motors with couplings. The other usage is power transmission, which means to transmit the power to the next component, usually combinations of general purpose motors with couplings is used for this purpose. For the motion control, the most important requirement for couplings is accuracy, achieved by high torsional stiffness. It is a mandatory condition to select from zero backrush coupling types, which do not have any play in rotational direction. On the other hand, for power transmission, the key requirement for couplings is strength which can accept the transmit high torque. OK, let's go one by one. Which type of miniature coupling should be used for motion control purpose? Over a decade ago, XH disc type coupling with all metal structure was highly recommended because of its high torsional stiffness. However, because of the dramatic improvements in motor performances, now the best coupling to use is XG high gain rubber type coupling. By the combination of high vibration absorption capability and the optimum torsional stiffness, rubber type couplings avoid the co-vibration of the system and realizes the highest performance of the motor. Having said that, there are customers who want to continue to use the traditional type of couplings they're familiar with. For such customers, we have MBB bellows couplings, which have high torsional stiffness next to the disc type. And we also have MS slit couplings with simple monolithic structure. Of course, each type of coupling I am introducing has a wide range of performances based on the different size or materials. Therefore, please note that the chart you are looking at explains the comparisons of general characteristics of coupling types as an image chart. There is another type as well. If you do not want to allow any misalignment and need to connect two shafts with very high coaxility, then XRP, rigid coupling, is the most suitable thanks to its superior accuracy. Next, for power transmission usage, MJ jaw coupling is the most suitable. It can transmit high torque 
accepting reasonable levels of misalignment, as it also has vibration absorption capability. Jaw type is widely used in many applications. If you need to allow more misalignment, we recommend MOR, Oldham type coupling. As I explained so far, you can select the most suitable coupling type for your needs, from the candidates suitable to the usage, and then by judging the importance of key features such as vibration absorption, torsional stiffness, transmitted torque, or acceptable misalignment. Once you select the type of coupling you need in the first steps, then the following three steps to select material, size, and fastening method are relatively simple and straightforward. NBK website and the selection navigation there will help you a lot to complete these steps and decide the final part number you need. It's really simple.